up everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to have another sports talk so um i'm going to start putting these up more frequently i haven't been so you know i love i love sports i love to talk about sports so i love to hear you guys reactions and hear you guys comments so the first topic i'm going to be talking about is the lakers finally found their coach they they hire uh frank vogel to a three-year deal. Now, it doesn't say how much it's worth, but they finally found their coach. And they also hired Jason Kidd as an assistant. So, in this, in this situation, LeBron wanted Ty Lue. So, Ty Lue interviewed for the job, and he wanted a... The Lakers were only offering a three-year deal. The Tyloo wanted a five-year deal. The Lakers were willing to do that. So they got Frank Vogel instead. I don't know if they... Have they even talked to LeBron about it? Who knows? Because if you're trying to win, I mean, you need LeBron. You need his input. So, but I... But, I mean, Frank Vogel, he was, he was a pretty good, decent coach. Um... He coached with he coached with the uh, Magic and the Pacers. He had a, he had a pretty good run with the Pacers um, a few years ago. Also, Jason Kidd had a good a, a good couple years with the Bucks. So I don't I don't understand why the Bucks got rid of him. They just could have kept Jason Jason Kidd would have done a good job with this with this Bucks team, but that's here nor there. So, but uh, Frank Vogel, I mean that's that's cool for them, but. You still don't have a, a president. You still don't have a president of basketball operations. So you got Rob Palenka, who's the GM, but he ain't doing a good job. Everybody want to keep everything in house. Ooh, excuse me. Everybody want to keep everything in house. So I don't know. The Lakers are so dysfunctional right now. I, I'm hearing rumors that. They say that they're going after Kyrie. Kyrie not coming to play with LeBron no more. Anthony Davis, you tried that already. It didn't work. Magic tried it already. It didn't work. So, um, I don't I don't know what they're going to do. I have no idea what they're going to do. So, they got a lot of young pieces. But Le LeBron don't need a whole bunch of young pieces. LeBron needs veterans and he needs shooters. That's what he needs. So when LeBron came here, knowing it was going to be a process. So I hope Frank and LeBron can kind of get along. But even if they don't, they got Jason Kidd, who LeBron can, who, who who LeBron relates to, because he was a former player, and he understands, you know, all what they're going through. So I think Jason Kidd is like an assistant coach, but he's like an advanced scout or something like that. So I don't know, but. Lakers ain't, Lakers ain't going nowhere. Lakers ain't going nowhere no time soon. So, they was even thinking about trading LeBron. That I think that would be best for them, for the Lakers. That would be best. Because LeBron's going to hijack everything. LeBron don't have time to rebuild. He in year, what is it, 16, 17? He's trying to win championships. And so the reason he probably in LA is, is because he's trying to he thinking after basketball. But dude, let me tell you something. If you get LeBron out, you get what you can for LeBron. And you keep your young pieces and you and you build off your young pieces. You just keep building and building. It's a process. Keep building. You had you had a couple of decent veterans here, but you keep building and building. That's how you rebuild your team. You rebuild your roster. So, but they had. I mean, it's so much dysfunction within the front office. But the Clippers over here sitting pretty, and they got money to sign two, not one, but two max free agents. They got two max contracts. So we all know. So I so we all know Kawhi is leaving. He, he gonna go. He, he not coming to the Lakers. Why why come to the Lakers? They all just fucking gonna come to the Clippers. Who know? So Frank Vogel, I wish you the best of luck. Cause you gonna need it. 
And uh, we'll see what the Lakers do next year. Unless they sign, unless they can get Anthony Davis or something like that. But you got to give up everything. So, we shall see. We shall see. Now, over this past weekend, we had two phenomenal Game 7s. Phenomenal Game 7s. So, I'm going to talk about the first one. Toronto versus Philly. In Toronto. Toronto wins the game 92 to 90. Phenomenal game. I feel like I feel like the game was going back and forth. We didn't know. Players that we thought was going to show up didn't show up. But Kawhi carried this team. Let me let me just say that up front. He carried this team the whole way. These so-called all-stars that they supposedly have in Toronto, they just average players, bro. The Kyle Lowry's, the Marcus Gasol's, the Serge Ibaka. They average players. Serge Ibaka hit a, hit a couple shots here and there, but they're not the players they they was, man. Kyle Lowry, what? Come on, bro. What what were you doing, bro? Kyle, Lowry, what what? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ten points, bro. Ten. Come on, bro. You ain't do nothing, bro. I expect more from y'all, man. I expect more. More, more, more from y'all. You gave me nothing. Kawhi had 41. I like the kid Pascal, though. I like Pascal. He had a double-double, 11 and 11. I like Pascal. He gives, he gives you rebounding and scoring. So I like Pascal. But, I mean, look... I mean, Kyle Lowry, you want, you you got thirty nine minutes, bro. Thirty nine minutes, and you give me ten points. I mean, he did have six assists and six rebounds. So okay, I will take that back. But come on, bro, you got. I need to see more. You need to see more. So I don't know, man. They they don't. It, it just feels like it, it's it, it, they go with Kawhi takes them, bro. If he have an off night, oh. It's over. It's over. Joel Embiid got to crying after the game. What you crying for, bro? You was talking all this shit. You was talking all this stuff. Making jokes during the series and all that. Now you want... Nah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And Ben Simmons. I mean, dude, what are you... What are, what are you doing, bro? What, why? Why are you even here, bro? And bye, Ben Simmons. Pack your bags and roll out of film. I mean, this dude was not even attempting to shoot a jump shot. Do you even know how to shoot a jump shot? You six foot ten point guard, and you can't shoot. You hurting. You hurting Embiid, bro. Embiid can't kick the ball out to you when he get double team. Cause you go. Cause you ain't gonna shoot it. So now let's put more wear and tear on MB, bro. Pack your bags, bro. You're gone. You're gone, bro. If I was Philly, bye. Bye. You can go get you a point guard. Bye. Bye. Go get you. Resign Jimmy. You know, keep Jake. They, they, you going to get you two shooters. Go get you a shooter. Go get you, go, go get you a point guard that, that can ask you. Go get Kimber Walker or something. Go Go get, yeah, go get you a point guard, mo. Because that shit is ridiculous. That's ridiculous, bro. Terrible. Terrible showing last night. It's a good game, man. They, fit, fit, uh, Philly fought, man. And that and that clutch uh, layup by Jimmy Butler, clutch. Clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. But, but that shot, that Kawhi Leonard shot coming off the screen, fading away. In the corner, I mean, that whole arena was quiet. As that ball bounced on the rim like four times. Shot it. Boom. Boom. You can hear a pin drop when that ball was dropping. And going in, nuts. I know Toronto was lit. But, so I'm happy for Toronto. Y'all finally getting to the conference finals. 
Um, we'll see what y'all do versus Milwaukee in game one. It's going to be a tough series. Uh, I'm not... Uh, I think it's game one tonight. Y'all let me know. It's game, it's game one tonight. I'm not sure. But good luck because you're going to need it because the Greek freak is coming. Is coming. So let's talk about the second series. Portland versus Denver. It's a good series. Um... Good output, you know, I give much credit, much credit to Denver because people were just writing them off. Oh, they have no playoff experience. They're young. You know, they're not going to go far. They're, they're a good team, but when it, but when the playoffs come, they ain't going to do nothing because it's all about experience. Bullshit. I knew this team was going to be good. It don't matter, man. They showing you, you don't need a whole bunch of stars, man, to get far in the play. They lost, but, you know, they keep building. Just keep building. Add pieces here and there. They got a good young core. I mean, Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Joe Kitch, um, uh, Will Barton, Paul Millsap. They, they got a good mix, and they all score the basketball. They got a good bench. Um, Beasley comes off the bench. They got um, Morris. They got Plum the Big come off the bench. I mean, they got a good young. They got a good young uh, team, bro. You keep building, and the, and the good thing they remind me of the Spurs. As far as how they how they move the ball, the ball stays moving. It doesn't get stagnant. They don't just like Houston settle for the three and just bank off their superstar. That's not how you get it done. That's not. Teams, teams win championship, not players. Teams, that's how you win titles. It's team. You have to trust your team. Even when you down 10, you still do the same thing you've been doing. Keep the ball movement, find the open man, set, set pick and rolls, you know, set picks off away from the ball to free up space, create space, uh, drop it down to the center, you know, collapse the defense, kick out to your shooters. That's just, that's basketball one on one. And a lot of these so-called good teams with these big superstars, when the game get tight, you just see everybody standing around and everybody and they just doing one-on-one -on -one ball. That's not how you win, bro. Because now other teams, if I was the other team coach, I'm like, all right. Now, I know they're going to make some tough shots, but if we just make every shot difficult for them, we're going to be okay because they're going to miss some. They ain't going to hit them all. If we make every shot tough for them, Make every shot tough. No easy shots for him. Everybody else, we just play defense. But on this, on these two people, make every shot difficult. Yeah, they great players. They, they, they're they going to hit some tough shots, but make every shot tough. That's how I feel. And that's what they do. That's what you do against like an OKC. Paul George and uh and Rush, you make every shot tough. Rush going to shoot. He's going to shoot anyway. He's going to miss a lot anyway. But Paul George, you try to... Get physical and make every shot tough. Make him fade away. Make every jump shot tough. Fight through screens. Help. Big man step up and help on the pick and roll. Make every shot tough. That's how you beat him. But Portland, I mean, my man CJ went off. CJ McCullum. So now, he carried him. What CJ had? 30, 37? 37. And nine. Dave came in with a double-double. 13 and 10, you know, in his can to double double. 12 and 13. They got pieces, Mo. Ever Turner showed up. 14 and 7. You know what I'm saying? You need players to show up. Everybody get the piece of the pie. People re they rebound them well. You know, they move the ball. They got a bunch of shooters. A lot of people can score. Rodney Hood showed up in this series. You know. Seth, Seth Curry didn't really do his thing. He didn't really show up. He didn't do that in this series. But uh, they need him to step up. It's, especially, especially against Golden State. Now you're planning to get your brother. What you going to do? What you going to do? Which Curry brother going to show up? You know what I'm saying? You're planning to get your brother. What you going to do? So, uh... I'm happy for Seth, man, but but you got you got to show up. This playoff time, this playoff time. I know you're playing against your brother, so I know he gonna try to come out 
and be on fire. I know. I know he's going to try to come out. So, we're going to see. Um, we gonna, we, It's going to be, these carving finals going to be good, man. We're going to be good. Because neither team, I, I don't think Golden State is guaranteed to win it. We're going to see. Y'all let me know who y'all got in both of these game ones. That's all I got. That's another sports talk. And don't forget this your boy, Greg Reacts. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.